Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. We're going to be continuing our Plop.js tutorial in this video. In the previous video, we took the Gatsby Starter blog and added Plop to it, which scaffolded out new blog posts for us. Today I'm going to introduce you to Plop Helpers, which are little functions that can be run directly inside of the handlebars templates. So let's take a look at what we have right now. This is the Gatsby Starter blog running on my machine. And let me show you one of the first applications of a helper that we might want to write. So what a helper is, it's a little function that can take zero or one arguments and it can be called directly from the handlebars template. So one of the things that I thought was a little clunky here was passing in this data object with a new date uh, on possibly many actions. So what I'd like to do is move this into a helper so that we can use this little helper function directly in our templates and don't have to duplicate this logic. So in order to add a helper, you use the main plop object and you can type set helper. Just like a generator, the first thing it gets is uh, a name. And so because this helper is going to be generating a date, we'll call it date. And then all a helper is, is a function that can take zero or one arguments. For instance, let's look at this dash case. Dash case, which is a built-in plop helper, takes one argument of title. In this case, because we're generating a date, we don't require any arguments. And so let's just mimic this logic here and we'll return a new ISO date string. Now what we can actually do is get rid of this data object because we can actually use this helper inside of the handlebars file. So we'll open up our templates post.handlebars. And what we'd like to do here is, well, you'll see, we don't actually need to change anything. Because the name of this helper is date, in order to call the helper, you can just call it by name here, date. Uh, but just for the, the sake of example, let's call this date helper. And in the handlebars config, we'll call it date helper. So again, all this is doing, there are no arguments here. The argument would go here if there was one. But this is just calling the date helper function and invoking this and taking that return and sticking that right there. So let's run a generator. Uh, we'll say npm run plop test post. This tests the date helper. So we'll see a new test post created. And look, uh, this is created properly with an ISO string of today's date. And we'll check our website right here. And our test post exists July 15, that's today. So let's just rename this to date. Makes a little more sense. And now let's show an example of a helper that does take an argument. First, I'll show you um, a drawback of the built-in plop dash case helper. Let's say I want to create a new post called Brad's first post. And you'll notice it has an apostrophe. When it creates a slug, uh, and I'll, I'll describe this as the, the title of this post causes problems. You'll notice that when it actually creates this, Brad's first post, the URL of the post, has a dash between the Brad and the S. I personally don't like that. So what I'd like to do is make my own uh, dash case helper, or the way I like to call it is slugify helper, that can take this title and turn it into a slug just the way I want it. So there's a great library called slugify, and I'm going to install this as a dev dependency. 
And I'm going to create a helper that uses this slugify library to create slugs the way I like. So I'll import it here. And then let's make a brand new helper. We'll call the set helper method again on plop and give it a name of slugify. And in this case, this helper actually takes a, a single argument and I'll just call it text. It doesn't matter what you call it. It passes in uh, the handlebars variable to the right of the helper name as the first argument. And all we're gonna need to do here is call the slugify function. Slugify will take in that text and then we're gonna give it some options to format it how we want. First of all, we're gonna make it lowercase. And next we're gonna add this option called remove, which takes a regex and we're gonna remove single quotes or apostrophes, right? So what that'll do is it'll actually strip out the apostrophe um, from the text before slugifying it. And now, instead of using the built-in dash case, we can use our own slugify helper. And we'll try that again. We'll delete Brad's first post, create it again, and now we should see the URL like we want. Brad's first post with no dash where the apostrophe was. And oops, now we're seeing a problem in the title. Looks like Handlebars is trying to HTML encode these characters. So let me show you how to fix that. Because Handlebars was intended for HTML, it automatically encodes characters when you use this double mustache syntax. But there's a shortcut. If you use triple mustaches, it passes through the text as is. So for title and description, we might have apostrophes there. We'd like to keep that as is. So we'll delete it, run it again. And now we can see that the new post is properly slugified and uses the apostrophe in the right way. And we'll check our Gatsby website. Now we have Brad's first post. Check the URL, it's slugified properly. So that is how you can use uh, your own custom helpers in Plop to create functionality that you can use directly inside of the handlebar templates. Thanks for watching. This is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. Later, y'all.